So I know everyone can type on their iPhone. I get it, I can too. But I don't like to type on the iPhone. The keyboard's just too small for me. But I do it all the time, every day in fact. And then I thought, why not just start using dictation? Hi, my name is Rich. If you're new here, welcome. If not, welcome back. I make simple videos on how to use your iPhone and iPad, you know, without going nuts. Today's video is all about dictation. If you're of a certain age, you know what dictation is. When I first started my law practice, I used to dictate letters and legal documents to my secretary all the time, who would then take her notes back to the Selectric typewriter and type stuff out. When I retired from my legal career, I never thought I'd be using dictation again. My, how times have changed. Anyway, the iPhone does provide for dictation or voice input in a variety of different applications, and learning how to do this will save you the trouble of using that little keyboard. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to use dictation when sending a text message, when sending an email, when adding an appointment to your calendar, when creating a new note, and then lastly, when adding a new reminder. Okay, let's get started. Okay, probably the most practical way to use dictation is when you are sending a text message. Um, I'm always typing out a text message, and this is just an easy way to do it without having to use that little keyboard. So let me show you how. If you go into Messages, and you tap on Create a New Message, you can type in whoever you want to. But if you notice, you've got a little microphone right here. And you can just tap that, put your cursor in the field, and tap the little microphone, and then start dictating. Sometimes if you start out and you don't have dictation turned on on your iPhone, you'll get this message. Enable dictation or not now. In this case, I'm going to, of course, enable dictation. How are you doing? Question mark. I hope you're having a good day. Turn the mic off, and now you've got your text message already in there without having to type any of that out. Man, that's just so much faster. That's just a simple way to send a text message. You know, you can do the same thing with emails, too. If you tap on email, and you tap on new email, and you put your cursor down where you're going to type your message, and you tap on the microphone. Hey, I was just wondering if you'd like to go to dinner this evening. Let me know when you get a chance. Thanks. Turn your microphone off, and you're good to go. And again, wherever you see this little microphone icon, you can use dictation instead of having to use the keyboard. And that's how you do it with an email. Hey, before we move on to the next way to use dictation on your iPhone, let me tell you about today's sponsor, Xcool. If you've ever tried to pack for a trip and messed around with an endless bunch of cables, trying to make sure you've got a USB cable, a USB-C cable, an iPhone or iPad lightning cable, then you're going to love Xcool's new 4-in-1 fast charging cable. Honestly, I've never seen anything like the innovative way Xcool has integrated multiple connectors on the ends of the cable. This really does save you the hassle of having to carry around a bag full of cables. It has universal compatibility for all your charging needs and it's both durable and reliable. It's made with zinc alloy and a nylon braided cable rated for a 100,000 bin lifespan. In other words, you're never going to tear this thing up. It's tough both inside and out. And when I say fast charging, I mean it. It's a 100 watt USB-C fast charging cable. You can power up your MacBook Pro 2021 from 0 to 50% in just 30 minutes, which is 42% faster than the standard 60 watt charger and cable. You can transfer movies, music, or more in seconds with its fast transfer speeds. And thankfully, you don't have to take your iPhone case off to charge your iPhone. The extended lightning connector is long enough to plug into your iPhone without removing your case. And since it's got a USB-C connector on both ends, if you have an iPhone or iPad that uses USB-C, then you're covered. I've still got a handful of the older USB power supplies, even as I'm moving to the newer USB-C power supplies. 
And that's why I like this cable so much. It's got me covered no matter what connector scenario I find myself in. If you've watched this channel at all, you know I'm continually trying to reduce my tech clutter when I travel. And Xcool's cable just helped me make a big leap in that direction. Take a few minutes and check out this cable using the link in the description below. And be sure to use the code provided below if you do decide to make a purchase. Thanks so much to our friends at Xcool. And now back to the video. You know, you can also create a calendar appointment with dictation. So if you tap on calendar and you tap on new and you tap on the little microphone, dentist appointment and click add. And there it is. As simple as that. And if you want to go back in and you want to edit it, you can go down to notes, tap on the microphone. This is for a teeth cleaning. Click done. And now you've got a note associated with your doctor's appointment and you did it all with dictation in just a matter of a few seconds. And that's how you create an appointment using dictation. You can do the same thing with Apple Notes too. You can just tap on Notes and if you want to just go into Quick Notes, I'll just tap on Create a New Note. I'll tap on the dictation microphone icon. I need to remember to pack for the upcoming beach trip. And if you'll notice, that gave me a heading right there. I turned off the microphone and now I can go into the text of the note. Bathing suit, shaving kit, beach towels, And as you saw there, I was using the keyboard in conjunction with dictation. And you can do that if you need to, to keep stuff in the order that you want it to be. So in this case, you're actually using dictation and the keyboard together. And that just makes so much sense to me. And it's so easy to do. And that's how you do it with an Apple Note. And as you might suspect, it's the same thing with reminders. If you want to create a reminder with dictation, you just tap on it. I'll go into my reminders list. I'll click on new reminder. I'll click on the microphone. Mow the yard. Pick up light bulbs at Home Depot. Buy dog food at Tractor Supply. And then just click done. And that was way easier than typing out on the little keyboard. And that's how you use dictation on the iPhone. It's pretty cool. Honestly, I'm going to start using dictation wherever I can just to get better at doing it. It's a great way to step away from the iPhone's keyboard. Okay, that's it for today's short tutorial. I hope you found it helpful. And as always, thanks so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.